Jordan, what's it like to be back as the hitting instructor for the AAA uh, Albuquerque Isotopes here? It's, it's definitely different. I'm, I'm used to getting ready to play every night, but now I get ready to, to coach them up and hopefully get these guys prepared to move on to the next level. So it's definitely, it's definitely different, but I am enjoying it. Is it kind of surreal being back? I mean, you probably never thought that your path in baseball would lead you back to here. <laughs> yeah, you, you just never know, but you know, my wife and I always joke, you never know with baseball. Things happen all the time, and you know, when I was playing, you just you just never knew. You always had the chance when you put that uniform on, and, and you know, my wife, Always says she would never, you know, live, you know, move back to Albuquerque with me. But you know, here we are, and I, I love this job, and I love the guys on the team and the coaching staff. So it's it's been good. And a game with eight home runs, you hang a 20 spot on the board. You must be doing something right. What are you doing with these guys? Uh, I think for the most part, I'm staying out of the way. You know, I think that's what I'm doing the most. So you know, these guys know how to play the game of baseball. It's it's little things here and there, little adjustments that they need to be made, and most of the time it's 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 mental adjustments, and those are the things that you know I kind of harp on here and try to help these guys move along because at that next level everybody can play, everybody's got the skill, everybody is a big league baseball player. It's just that mental side that kind of separates them. Is your goal to be a big league manager one day? Um, I don't know right now. You know, I'm just getting into this. Um, it was something I wanted to do kind of uh, at the end of my career I wanted to get into coaching and um, I, I don't know I don't know you know I, I hope it I hope I continue to enjoy this as much as I am this year and I hope it flourishes to something bigger but right now I'm, I'm really happy where I'm at and I'm learning a lot from this coaching staff you know Warren Schaefer I played played with him coming up in the organization and to see where he's gone from playing to now managing AAA and being able to be under his wing and help him out it's been it's it's, it's really cool Looking back on your days at La Cueva, you won two state baseball titles, part of a string of four straight for La Cueva, and a run of 70 straight wins. <laughs> How good was that team and that program at that point? Man, it it was special. It was it was fun to be a part of, and kind of when you're in it, you don't really know how special it is. But then when you get to look back on it and you know share all those memories with some of the guys you run into from those teams, and you know you talk to them here and there, it's you just you know it, it brings back memories of you know how good the team was and how much we enjoyed being with each other and, and being on the baseball field and even basketball and you know even going to other sports and watching the football team play. It was it's really cool. You mentioned basketball. In 2003, you won a state basketball title. A lot of people might not know that. <laughs> and it was on a steal and a bucket mm -hmm. against Sandia, 55-53 win. Oh, what there do you go. remember about that play and that game? Ah, man. It's something that's always going to stick with me forever. It was it was really cool, just kind of how it unfolded. I remember Matt Honeycutt kind of tipping me the ball, being over there in that scrum with Timmy Crawwell, and just happened to get come in my hands. And I saw the basket, and it was a clear lane, and... I said, okay, this is this is gonna be it. We're gonna <laughs> I'm going down either way. We're gonna win or lose right here. So I, I'm, I remember it like it was yesterday. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed my time playing basketball under Frank Castillo and, and all the coaches over there. Being a multi-sport high school athlete, how important is that? Not only got you to your baseball career, but just for kind of development as a person, as an athlete? Yeah, it's, it's something that I I definitely want to teach my kids. I want them to do everything. I want them to try things. I want them to fail, and I want them to to learn from other sports. And and that it's you know it's it's not always about winning and losing, but it's about you know showing up every day and, and working hard and and trying stuff new. So I think it really helped in my development and definitely in my competitive development. Being just being able to compete every day, I, I got that itch to always want to win, and I think that's very important when you're teaching young kids how to play game how to play the game of baseball basketball any sport is how to compete when you think about your time as a Cueva baseball player in high school what stands out what memories come to mind <sighs> man uh, kind of just what i said earlier is just the team we had the guys the friendships we had we we always wanted to go to practice we always wanted to be around each other it, it definitely helps when you're winning every game uh, to want to do that, to want to show up. But again, it, it taught me how to win, it taught me how to be a team player because I wasn't the best player on that team. I, I was helping something that was bigger than me. So that's what it taught me. It taught me how to be a part of a group of guys and with a common goal and 
and that was the win. That 70 game win streak that you were a part of was one of the best in the nation. Mm -hmm. Did you feel at that point that you guys had one of the best teams in the country at that point, baseball oh, You know, again, when, when you're in it, you don't really think about it and you're not think you just you're enjoying the time being on the field you're enjoying your friends you're playing a game of baseball and you're winning so you're not really thinking about it but definitely looking back I, I do think we were one of the best teams in the country I think we could have competed with, with a lot of other other states and and their best teams so and that's again that's my competitive side and that's that's what I feel and I still feel it to this day what advice do you have for high school athletes at this point? You were in their shoes, you know what it takes to get to the collegiate level, get to the pros, but a lot of times it's even more than that, mm -hmm. taking part in things in high school. What's your advice to high school students now? I, I think it's just find something that you're really passionate about. It doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be sports, it doesn't have to be whatever you want, but find something that you want to learn to just be better at. Not that you necessarily have to to win all the time, but you just want to get better at. And that was for me is is what baseball was. It was something that I just wanted to keep getting better at. It was a passion of mine. I love it, and that's why I'm coaching now. And that's where it's gone. So I'm able to deal with the ups and downs because I love to be here. I love to come to the field. I love the guys. I love to help people. So if anything, it's just you know develop a love for something that goes deeper than just you know the numbers and winning or losing it's something that you really care about one topic that's come to the forefront at the high school level is mental health awareness mm -hmm. for all kids what's your advice to someone who might be struggling or the importance of mental health awareness um, at all of us uh, it's it's huge and especially in the game of baseball it's, it's something that Especially at this AAA level, you know, guys, you know, we're men. We feel like we got to hide our feelings and we got to hide our emotions. But it's really good to have somebody, have a, a mentor that you can talk to, and have somebody that you can always just open up with. And I know that's hard, but and sometimes it's not our family; it's a close friend. It's somebody that has kind of been through what we're we want to go through or what we're going through at the time. So I think just find a good support staff, find people around you that. Are, are doing what you're doing and those are the people you can lean on. And lastly, your high school career, you accomplished a lot. If you had to sum it up in one moment, <laughs> one memory, one memory. You, what would you pinpoint? Wow. One memory, one moment. Man. Gosh. You know, it, it, the winning was fun, uh, like I said, the, the state championships were fantastic, but I will all rem always remember the group of guys that I came all the way through high school with. That's the one thing I'll always remember. I'll remember how close we were, I remember how much we had each other's backs, I remember how we all just wanted to have fun and, and win. So, you know, that's probably the one thing that I could just, if I summed it all up, it was just those guys.